What's up, everyone? So today, guys, we're gonna be talking about people in the Diary of Wimbledon books that are psychopaths and people that are just normal kids. So yeah, let's go. All right. So somebody that is a normal kid is so we're gonna be starting off with the normal kids first. All right. So we're gonna be talking about the normal kids first, obviously. Um. Let me talk thinking about the normal people first. Okay. All right. So the normal people. Okay. So who who are the normal people? Well, the normal people are guys like Rally and Roderick, and I think those are the only people. Now I'm going to tell you guys why. So you guys have to understand, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Um, in just a, a second here. So. So, why is Rowley a normal kid? Well, it's not really too normal. Because he has not grown past some stuff that most people have grown past by his age. Now he is in... He was... He is past 6th grade. He's going into 8th or seven. So, he's definitely probably should have... So he's not normal in regards to stuff. He definitely should have been passed. A lot of stuff that he's not passed. But, honestly, it is okay. It is okay that he has not grown past it. We all grow past different things at different times. Now, I have definitely probably gone past that. I have definitely gone past that. Some of the stuff that he has not gone past. But at the same time, it is his opinion. So, it is his opinion and all that stuff. So, it is his opinion, and he likes what he likes, and you can never take that away from him. All right, you can never take that away from him. But, um, so, so yeah. Now, Rowie is uh, people. People think that he is. Now, if, if he goes to normal school like what he is right now, people p probably think that he is weird. Because he has just not grown past some of the stuff that most people have grown past. But at the same time, it is okay if you have not grown past that stuff. Alright, so the next person, Roderick. So you might be wondering, how is Roderick a normal person and not a psychopath well the truth is that Roderick is like any other teenager he pulls pranks on people and he does all that stuff he does a bunch of pranks which is normal for a teenager and he does a bunch of stuff that annoys parents a lot which is normal by a teenager so you might you might be wondering how how, how is he a normal person? Well, the fact is, he's he's a normal person just because he is. Okay, he's definitely a normal person. So, now you guys might be wondering. Yeah, um, he does a bunch of stuff to his brothers that is probably not normal. Okay, some of the stuff is probably not normal that he does, but some of the stuff he does is probably not normal to his brothers, but it is okay, and it does probably not make him a psychopath, and the two other people that we're going to be talking about today are definitely psychopaths. Okay, these two people that were the next two people that we're gonna be talking about are definitely psych psychopaths, and if you guys compare and if you really compare them, there is there is no way 
there's definitely no way if you guys you uh, <laughs> There's no way. Okay, so there's no way if you guys consider Roderick Psychopath, you guys have to consider these next two. But if you don't consider these next two people Psychopaths, I am going to be very, very mad at you if you consider Roderick a Psychopath. So, uh, the next two people are Greg and Manny. Now you might be wondering, Manny Manny's only free. Yeah, he only is free. But at the same time, Manny is pretty evil. I don't know how to save to say it. Manny is evil. Now people are gonna be mad when they hear that, but Manny is just straight up evil. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, how is Manny evil? Well, first of all, we need to talk about something. Manny, put, how is Manny a psychopath? Well, first of all, first of all, um, well, he, so, so he put a cookie in Greg's, the thing Greg praised the most, he he put a cookie in Greg's video game system, which is, bro, that's evil. But the thing is, so his mom said, that's, oh, Manny's too young to ever do anything wrong. So Manny basically got away with it. But Manny, the person he is, so making this, so his mom thinks that he's the best person ever, because he did this. He did this. So, Manny, the person he is, made a little gift. He made a gift. Greg, a little gift. Now you guys might be wondering what that, what is that gift? Hmm. Well, that gift was a, it just say a very sharpie gift. <laughs> I'm so funny, right? Alright, so for real though, it was a very sharp gift. So, it, it was a tin full of ball with a bunch of, it, I don't even know what, what the stuff was. But it was it was meant to hurt Greg. So, Greg, but, so he, Greg tried to throw it away, but then, man, but then Greg's mom was like, bro, he made, he made that for you. And then he just did it. Sure, whatever, I'll keep it. Because after he tried to throw it away, when he tried to throw it away, his mom was just like, no, that's very not nice of you. And then, and it, all right, so, and then he ended up just being like, okay, okay, if I have to have it, whatever, I'm going to throw it away. But he didn't throw it away yet because he knew he had to keep it. For just a while, so his parents would think he still had it. So he just throws it back on to, or he just throws it back on to the, on to his bed. And then, so Rowley and Greg were hanging out. Rowley decides to go on to the bed, and then that was painful. So. Rowley sat on it, and I got to think it probably did probably not feel the best. So yeah, uh, so it probably didn't feel the best, but at the same time, Manny's evil. So you got so you guys can't say, oh yeah, that's Manny's tradition. Manny has always been evil. He's always been evil, and everyone knows it. He, and everyone knows it, and I'm gonna be really mad if you guys think that he is not evil. Anyway, so the next person, Greg. 
Alright, so what is wrong with Greg? What is wrong with G Greg? Well, Greg isn't as much evil as Manny, but um, he is uh, quite interesting to say the least. He is interesting to say the least. So, Greg, the person he is. So, Greg. So, Greg is hanging out with Rally, and then they come up with the brilliant idea to fall back so that's like if I fall out of this chair for views they come up with that brilliant idea to do it for views and then so so Rao was just like no bro I'm not gonna do that I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna hit my head just to film a video and potentially get hurt just to film a video and what is Greg's brilliant idea to solve that problem well, Greg's brilliant idea was he saw underwear yank about. And Greg's brilliant idea, you might ask. Well, Greg got, thought it was a smart idea to put the underwear on to Rowe's head. So that, and then, and then he had no reason to say he couldn't do it. Because it technically is protection to the head. Alright, so thank you guys for watching that video. Uh, so those were psychopaths, and some some of those some of them were psychopaths. Some of them weren't. Some of the most of them were. So thank you guys for watching that video, and uh, so thank you guys for watching the video, and uh, peace.